and welcome to the Business Spotlight. I'm Pat Dewar. Today I've got a show that you should be recording and if you're watching on YouTube or one of the other uh, channels out there, um, embed this somewhere where you will remember it because if you're a business owner, this show is for you. If you even want to be a business owner, if you're a, a mid-level manager, you should be listening and taking notes through this show. My guest today is Dave Swift. Dave is a marketing guru. In fact, that's his website, themarketingguru.us. And one of the things that's really fun and, and, and uh, I appreciate is that he's got the background to support it. He has worked with uh, Procter & Gamble and these other really huge companies as a marketing director and directed huge campaigns, but then he's brought it into, the, in a sense, the real world, the rest where the rest of us live, and implemented it in businesses that he's grown to be multi-million dollar businesses winning awards every single year. Dave, thanks for being on the show. Pleasure, Patrick. Thank I, you. I'm really excited about this show because we've done a show on the first six, um, I want to say immutable, immutable ironclad, unwavering, whatever, yes. unwavering the laws. The ones you shouldn't break. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't, don't violate these laws of marketing and I love marketing it says you know I consider myself a marketer but I know from the first moment we sat down I realized I have a lot to learn and so let's go through you want to go through and review Yeah, let's for those who didn't see the, the first show um, we covered the first six of the 12 laws so what we're gonna do is I think a quick review would be in order so sure. everybody would understand kind of where we are the first law we talked about was the law of leadership and it means it's better to be first than it is to be better. Mm -hmm. um, of course, if you are the first, you are the best because there isn't a, there's not a second yet. So you are going to be, be the one there. But being first in a category gives you the opportunity to define it, to make it what you want it to be, and to start with leadership. And if you don't screw it up, to maintain leadership. That's just the way it works. So we start with that. It's always great to have a good creative idea. But what if you don't? What if you're not the first one to think about post-it notes? Okay. Um, then the next law that comes into play is the law of the category. And the law of the category says if you can't be first in a category, set up a category that you can be first in. And I think uh, an example there was I asked you in the last show, so who is the first person to fly across the Atlantic? And you rightly said, Charles Lindbergh. Right. And then I said, who is the second? And quite frankly, you didn't have a clue. No, I okay? couldn't. Um, but I when I... First woman, but uh, you know. <laughs> right, but there was a person who was the third person to fly across the Atlantic, and it was Amelia Earhart. And guess what? She's the first woman to fly across the Atlantic. So a new category was created by her publicist, and we all remember her. Nobody remembers who was number two in the men, because by creating this new category that said, we're going to gender separate this first category, we've now created a new category, and we have a new leader in that category, and her name was Amelia. And she, 100 years later, we still remember, That's because right. somebody was smart enough to create a new category. The third category, or the third law, uh, was the law of the mind, which means it's better to be first in the mind than it is to be first in the marketplace. You might say, well, why is that? Well, because the odds are if you're first in the mind, it won't be long before you are first in the marketplace. And to the degree that you can own a, a word uh, in, in the minds of, of folks, in their how they perceive of a category and you're the one they think of, over time they will tend to gravitate towards that because marketing is perception, which is the fourth law. And that is, it's not a battle of products or services when you market. It's a battle of perceptions. And, and a good example of that that we talked about was back in the Russian Revolution when they overthrew the Tsar and we had Lenin and his band of, of folks, and we had the opposition to Lenin, uh, which were not communists, they were just themselves, you know, peasants and, and so forth. 
and Lenin did a very, very good thing. They, his group represented maybe 2% of the population, but they called themselves the Bolsheviks and labeled everybody else the Mensheviks. Well, in Russian, Bolsheviks means the leader. And so if you're a peasant and, and you're wondering whose side I should take, I want to be with the Bolsheviks. And that's how Lenin, through marketing, basically was able to take over the country. Uh, the fifth one was law of focus. And, and that's really what we alluded to, being able to have a word in, in somebody's mind. And the sixth is the law of exclusivity, which means that you can't have the same word as somebody else. So if, if Heinz has got ketchup uh, and, and you're coming along, you, you probably aren't going to be able to get ketchup if you're some new company. But you better come up with another word, be it Tabasco sauce or whatever, uh, as, as a condiment, as an alternative to that. Outstanding. So those are the first six immutable, ironclad, unwavering. Is that unwavering? What you, laws. Unwavering. So that's okay. If these were if these were commandments, <laughs> we're halfway through the list, and we've got more to come. Where you're going to learn about ways to improve your business. We'll be right back. Staying involved uh, in dentistry on every level, local state and national makes me a better dentist. Our patients are our life and our livelihood and we appreciate every single patient that walks in that door. And these are our family and we treat them that way.